Wouldn't it be nice to take classes outside in a sunflower filled garden overlooking Casco Bay? That's part of the reopening plan at East End Community School for some 200 kindergarten through fifth graders, half the normal enrollment expected to attend in person every day. It can be really hands on and kids can go around and have concrete examples. Sitting on tree stumps and learning about food and nutrition. So just like unfortunately COVID has moved us down the road on technology, really embracing it. I think it's going to help us embrace long term outdoor, more um, experiential learning in a lot of cases. Learning together in a grassy area behind the school. An easel for the teacher, little plastic buckets for the kids to sit. You'd have flags that are spaced out six feet apart. Inside, kindergarten classroom seating has been reduced from 18 to 12, with plexiglass dividers in the middle of shared tables. The school ventilation system has gotten a tune up, and hallways are dotted with signs reminding everyone to stay six feet apart. We have all these pieces in place. It's now making sure we communicate those to families and staff. Um, and, and start teaching them and doing them. On school buses, assigned seats, and only one kid every other row, except siblings can sit together. Um, any high touch areas are going to be wiped down by the drivers. If the first month goes smoothly and is outbreak free, Portland Elementary Schools plan to go 100% in person in mid-October. The idea is to bring kids back um, whose families want them to come back. Um, and But, you know, before we get there, we're taking a cautious approach.